Right, I'm now going to cover the topic of how to sow crocuses in your garden. Uh, the main topics I want to cover here is just where to sow them, what depth to sow them, and the type of conditions that the crocus is like. Okay, um, I have just in my hand here a selection of crocus bulbs that we're just about to plant. Uh, regardless of the type, it's the same basic um, um, planting conditions they like. So, um, for my own preference here, I, I like to sow them in lawns. Um, I think underneath the deciduous tree is ideal, simply because um, the, the period we'll be planting them in would be uh, late autumn, so from October straight through to December it's possible to sow them, and they'll be in flower then, they're relatively early, bef before the daffodils, so in a period of around uh, February, March, uh, you'll have uh, your crocuses, okay? So I think underneath a deciduous tree is perfect, because often you'll have a situation where the tree will be rather barren, and it'll be quite nice to have the, uh, the bulbs underneath. So in terms of um, the, the, the type of conditions they like, they like um, uh, semi-shade and they like well-drained soil in common with all uh, bulbs. If you have very heavy soil, it can be a good idea to add sand in to improve drainage. But we're lucky in our situation here, we have quite nice soil in the area I'm going to plant. So a re relatively informal pattern, I believe, is the best. So I'm just going to show you how I'd actually approach this here. So I want to have crocuses just around the tree here. So what I'll do is I like to just throw them and have them sort of spread out like this, okay? So a few handfuls like that, and a relatively um, random pattern. If we have a situation here where we have crocuses that uh, two are touching side by side, we'll plant them like that because they might well appear like that in nature as well, okay? So what I'm gonna do here then is, um, we would have different options here of how to go and sow them from this point onwards. One would be to simply come along and with a spade lift the soil, plant the crocuses and put them down into the ground. But because we're quite close to the base of the tree and that, and we want to cause the minimum amount of effort and disruption also to the roots of the trees, um, the best way to do this is actually just to make a hole for each one. So what I'll do here is I'm just gonna use um, this uh, um, uh, trowel here and I'm just gonna make a space. So what I'm gonna do here is, I just lift this first root here, or this first bulb here. What I do is just try to make a space and loosen up the soil here. Now it's not necessary to cut too deep because with all bulbs, uh, we have the following scenario where it's basically you want to plant it and the depth it's down, uh, the base it should be three times the overall height of the bulb itself. So if I come along here, even a, uh, a small amount of digging will get us to this achievement here, okay? And we want to backfill this with nice soft soil. Okay, now if we have a, a situation here where maybe when we dug down, we came across and there was a few small stones, something like this, so it's hard to actually push some soil back in. What you can bring around with you at this point in time would be something like this bucket of uh, clay here. And what you could do is you could just pick up your glove then and just sprinkle some soil in here. And then we'll just repeat the process at the next point here. So. So it, you, as you can see, it's a fairly unintrusive uh, manner of uh, planting bulbs. So we just repeat the same thing here. We'll push it down to about three times the depth and uh, we we'll just, here actually we did hit a stone, so what I'm going to do here is just backfill with a little piece of soil on that. So next February or March this will reappear here. Um, so that's basically it. Um, the one thing I'll say about this is because it's planted in the lawn and all the rest of it, um, crocuses work out quite well because they'll have flowered and um, they'll be sort of in decline by the time it uh, comes to cut the lawns. But what we're best to do is wait for the energy to go back down into the plant um, so avoid cutting the crocuses, um, uh, crocuses until maybe a few weeks after they finish flowering to give the, the maximum chance um, for the bulb to recover and it'll maximise your chances of having good flowers the, uh, the following season.